Russia is currently working on programs to replace imports, especially in important industries like engineering, transportation, and mining machinery due to the current global political and economic situation. The modernization of the Russian diesel engine 12 DM185, which is intended for use in heavy dump vehicles produced by the Belarusian company Belaz, is a significant accomplishment in this endeavor. Sonara, Transport Machines, or STM, the manufacturer, has reported that the improved engine contains nearly 100% domestically produced components, 99.78%. Additionally, the new 12 DM185 is purportedly superior to its foreign counterparts in a number of critical technical parameters. One of the world's foremost manufacturers of mining vehicles is the Belarusian automobile plant, Belaz, which produces ultra-heavy models with payloads exceeding 240 tons. For years, Belaz was dependent on imported engines, control systems, and petroleum equipment, which rendered the company susceptible to supply disruptions and sanctions. A logical move toward industrial resilience and technological sovereignty is the development of a Russian-made engine capable of replacing foreign power plants in this category. The modernization program was initiated with a specific set of ambitious objectives that were intended to revolutionize the engine's design and production process. The new version achieved an impressive 99.78% of Russian-made components, and one of its central objectives was to achieve near-total localization. This achievement significantly diminished the program's reliance on foreign supply chains, thereby enhancing technological sovereignty and industrial self-sufficiency. To ensure complete compatibility with Russian technologies, the upgrade prioritized the integration of domestically developed control and fuel systems. Simultaneously, engineers worked to improve the engine's efficiency, reliability, and output to achieve or outperform global benchmarks. To verify the effectiveness of these enhancements, a comprehensive testing process was implemented, which included trials in which the engine was operated under actual operational conditions within a BLAS mining vehicle. Additionally, the engine has been redesigned to include over 360 components that are either manufactured in Russia or sourced from helpful countries. These components include pistons, liners, rings, and air starters. The Industrial Development Fund provided up to 5 billion rubles in financial investment to support the industrial and technological scope of the project, demonstrating the state's dedication to the advancement of domestic manufacturing capabilities. The scope and success of the modernization effort are underscored by the publicly available specifications of the upgraded engine, which are derived directly from Sonara's reports and testing data. The engine's 99.78% localization level highlights its near-complete reliance on Russian-made components. It operates at a rated speed of 1,800 revolutions per minute and generates a powerful power output of 1,860 kilowatts, which is equivalent to approximately 2,528 horsepower. Fuel consumption under maximum load was recorded at 205.7 grams per kilowatt hour, indicating a substantial increase in efficiency. The first overhaul is scheduled after 25,000 engine hours, and a significant overhaul is not necessary until 75,000 hours of operation. The maintenance intervals are equally impressive. The engine uses a V-type configuration with a 60-degree cylinder bank angle to satisfy Stage 3A emission standards. The program has successfully achieved extensive localization as demonstrated by the sourcing of over 360 components domestically. It is important to mention that the 12 DM185 is a member of the DM185 family, which is a modular engine platform that is intended for use in various sectors. The 16 DM185T, a 16-cylinder iteration with approximately 5,000 horsepower, will power the most recent Russian mainline diesel locomotive, the 2TE35A. 
The 2025 iteration necessitated the redesign or substitution of over 300 components that were previously sourced abroad, although earlier versions of the DM185 line had already achieved a 92% localization rate. Sonara asserts that the resulting product now rivals or exceeds foreign diesel engines of comparable size in terms of thermal efficiency, durability, and fuel economy. In October 2025, Sonara announced the successful completion of factory tests for the upgraded 12 DM185, following its installation in a 240-ton Bellas mining vehicle. The trials verified all critical technical parameters, such as thermal stability, torque, and power output. The engine's durability and performance under real-world conditions will be the main focus of the program's forthcoming phases, which will involve rigorous testing. These will consist of 900 hours of resource testing under various variable operating conditions that are intended to replicate actual workloads, followed by full-load endurance tests on dynamic test benches. Field trials will be conducted in active mining operations during the concluding and most critical phase. It will be imperative to test the engine in a functioning quarry to verify its efficiency and reliability in harsh environments that are characterized by elevated temperatures, intense mechanical loads, and heavy dust. Rather than starting from the beginning, Sinara's engineers are building upon a foundation of prior development. The engineers built the 12 DM185A version upon previous iterations of the DM185 engine family, which had yielded valuable operational data and experience, and installed it in a Bellas truck used at the Tugnoy Open Pit coal mine in 2020. It was able to accrue approximately 2,000 engine hours. These initial trials were focused on the optimization of load control and braking dynamics, the refinement of software, and the guarantee of a seamless integration with Bellas automated systems. In response to the evaluations, the design team implemented targeted enhancements to the lubrication, turbocharging, and air intake systems, which led to increased reliability and simplified maintenance in demanding industrial environments. The 2025 model was refined using the valuable data and practical experience obtained from these earlier trials. The heavy machinery sector of Russia derives considerable strategic value from the modernization program, which provides substantial advantages. The project has virtually eliminated its dependence on imported components by attaining a localization level of 99.78% thereby eliminating the vulnerabilities associated with foreign supply chains. The use of domestically produced control and fuel systems further fortifies the national engineering and manufacturing base, thereby reinforcing technological sovereignty. The economic benefits are also significant, as domestic production reduces the costs associated with international procurement, resulting in substantial foreign currency savings. If the engine's operational performance surpasses that of its foreign counterparts, it could establish a dominant position in Russia's heavy machinery market, thereby strengthening its competitive advantage. The initiative, on a broader scale, strengthens the connections between these critical Eurasian manufacturing partners by promoting the development of more robust industrial cooperation between Russia and Belarus. The program is designed for scalability from a production perspective. STM has already upgraded its engine assembly line to accommodate an output of up to 400 units annually. Additionally, there are concrete plans to produce 150 units of the 12 DM185 annually for use in mining equipment. There are still numerous obstacles that the 12 DM185 program must overcome to establish long-term reliability and market credibility, despite its remarkable technical advancements. Laboratory and factory performance may not always guarantee sustained reliability under real-world conditions, especially when engines operate continuously in demanding industrial contexts. Extensive field use can provide hidden design vulnerabilities that are only revealed by the harsh environments of mining operations, which are characterized by constant vibration 
extreme temperatures, and heavy dust. Additionally, logistical support and maintenance are critical factors for ensuring consistent uptime. In order to guarantee consistent uptime, a completely localized engine necessitates a consistent supply of domestically available spare parts and an extensive nationwide service network. Furthermore, despite the fact that the localization level is currently approaching 99%, there may still be a degree of reliance on friendly foreign suppliers for specific raw materials or complex subassemblies. The competitive landscape further elevates the bar, as established players like Cummins, MTU, and Caterpillar have decades of proven reliability and consumer trust. The 12 DM185 must not only rival their performance, but also exhibit its longevity through continuous operation to establish a foothold. This level of engineering precision is, however, both time-consuming and expensive to achieve on a large scale. Lastly, Export certification may be further complicated by the stringent international environmental standards that must be adhered to, which could potentially restrict access to foreign markets unless compliance is proactively guaranteed. The DM185 series is not restricted to mining vehicles. Sonara is currently in the process of developing a 16-cylinder 5,000-horsepower variant of the 2TE35A mainline diesel locomotive that was commissioned by Russian Railways, RZD. This two-section locomotive represents a new iteration of Russian mainline diesel traction, expected to be fully operational by 2026. Other variations of the DM185 are being modified to accommodate gas piston power plants and autonomous energy systems, thereby increasing the family's adaptability. Sonara's engine plant has been upgraded to accommodate up to 400 engines annually, with intentions to further increase capacity. The DM185 line is currently undergoing the construction of a new production facility with the objective of enhancing efficiency and volume. The 12 DM185 has the potential to become the standard power plant for Belaz trucks in Russia and, if effective, for other heavy-duty mining vehicles throughout Eurasia. Sonara observes that the 12 DM185's technical capabilities may render it appealing to friendly nations in Asia, Africa, and Latin America, despite the current geopolitical constraints that restrict global market access. Numerous of these nations currently import BLAS vehicles and may transition to Russian power plants as supply chains realign. In conclusion, one of the most notable illustrations of Russia's initiative to achieve industrial self-reliance in heavy machinery is the modernization of the 12 DM185 diesel engine. Combining the claim of 99.78% localization with superior performance figures makes the engineering milestone remarkable. However, the true measure is yet to come the sustained field operation in the harsh conditions of open pit mining. If the 12 DM185 meets expectations, it could represent a significant milestone in the history of Russian mechanical engineering, reaffirming the nation's capacity to manufacture world-class industrial systems wholly within its borders. Nevertheless, engineers will be forced to undergo another cycle of refinement if real-world trials reveal defects or reliability gaps, an unavoidable aspect of establishing technological independence. In either case, the 12 DM185 project demonstrates a clearly defined trajectory. Russia's heavy industry sector is not merely attempting to catch up with foreign producers, it is also striving to establish itself independently by integrating industrial policy, engineering expertise, and strategic cooperation with allied states. If you find this video informative, please like, subscribe, and share. Please also take our membership to encourage us.